Hi, this is Anne from Duct Tape and Denim, and today I've been making some short videos to answer questions that I get asked a lot. And this video is about the question, how do you punch holes in different materials, especially in metal? So I thought I'd pull out all the different tools that I use to punch holes in different materials and uh, just let you know how I use them. Okay, the first one, this one, just plain old hole punch. I don't use it very much. I basically use it for um, mostly my earring cards or any other um, display items. It just it's good for paper. That's about it. This next one is my crocodile, and it will punch holes and it will set eyelets. So you can get a one eighth inch or a three sixteenth inch hole. It does a lot of paper and really thick paper, like thin cardboard, anything that you can fit in there, uh, chipboard. Metal, if it's thin, not too thick, and um, you usually find it in your scrapbook areas of your craft stores. And because I make jewelry sometimes out of kind of unusual items, I sometimes use that for jewelry. And this is my Dremel drill. I love it. Cordless. I use it all the time. Um, this you can get a lot of different sizes because, see, you just change out the drill bit. And I use that for wood or plastic. And here's an example of a little Scrabble. It's a bigger drill bit, but a Scrabble tile that I drilled. I was going to make something out of that. I think it was going to be a bracelet. And then these last two are the ones that I use the most. This is a double hole punch. I've heard it called a vise or a screw. Um, this is the end that I use the most. I think it's 1 16th. You can use it on soft metals, um, thin metals, and I've learned that the hard way because I've been through a lot of these because I was trying to use it on keys and like these big thick metal pieces that I'll show you, show you next. But basically just use this on soft metal. And you just put your piece in there. This is a little piece of brass that I think it's going to be a keychain. You see, you stick it in there, and then you just screw this down. It doesn't make any noise. You can put the hole as far out in there as you want. Just screw it until it goes all the way through, and sometimes a little piece will fall out. See? Sometimes they stick in there, and you'll get like three or four out at a time. Like so. See, that just makes a little hole right there. You can put your jump ring through that, make a key ring. Okay, and this is a fun one because I, I put off getting this for a long time because I thought I could do with the, the little double hole punch. But then I started making jewelry out of this metal, and it's really hard metal. And here's, an example. here's what I'm going to do with this piece. I'm going to make a bracelet. So I need a hole in the top and a hole in the bottom. And I'm wearing one that's made out of the California state shape. But this is really fun. And it comes in a whole kit where you can change out the, the sizes of the, the holes that you punch to that right down in there. You can change that, that piece out and it comes in, you can make a bunch of different hole, size holes. But this is the one I use the most. And again, you just put the metal in here. Sometimes I'll use a Sharpie and I'll just make a little dot where I want it. This one, I think I can get it. So it would right in there. I usually like push it down and hold it, and then put it up against something hard because this one takes a little muscle, and it is noisy. So see, it punched a hole right in there. Okay, so those are the different tools that I use. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Um, and go to my website. You can leave a comment below or you can go to my website which is ducttapeanddenim.com and um, you can find more tutorials there and you can also buy some of the finished jewelry. Thanks for watching. Bye.